All right, Phil's got a nice fish on. He hot it, got him on the hopper. Is it a brown? Oh, he looks like a brown. Nice, dude. Nice. All right. So I guess we're not disclosing locations anymore. Um, but we're going off road in here. Check this out. Going into the depths. This is pretty cool though. This is a very secret, undisclosed location. Rarely. Yeah, I don't think it's ever been discovered before. Rarely discovered by anyone. I mean, there is signs of life with like the road and the uh, like, you know, the signs and whatnot. But might have been a fire over here. It's pretty much no one here, which is great. It's a good sign. Good sign. Watch. Big fish. Watch we'll get Big there. Fish. State yeah. records. We just got to this really cool canyon. Phil's being very antsy. Trying to fish, Joe. <laughs> he said he's trying to fish or something. It's like, I mean, I was just here for the scenery, but. You know what they say, Joe? When there's fish, go catch them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> up to the most barren heights the city's looking different underneath these glaring lights won't say it twice i keep it rolling like a paradise keep lacing flows up every <laughs> yeah i got filled pretty good earlier with this like toilet prank it was pretty classic and pretended that he dropped his phone down the toilet. <laughs> I was getting my rod ready. I was going to go fish it out. <laughs> it was classic. Yeah, I was afraid Phil was going to drop his and then, you know, we'd actually have a situation. But in all seriousness, this is pretty, pretty sweet. A lot of good looking pools here. Good looking water. Phil's trying to find some rushing water. Or he said Russian water. I don't know if that's like a international thing or what, but... I want some movement. I don't want this. He doesn't like still water. He's got a lot of beef against still water. The ponies never really, uh, never was a fan. All right, we'll get back to you. Beautiful looking run right there. See if Joe can get one. He's still rocking the extremely large caddis. Not that big. Extremely large, probably like size six. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely the bug, dude. Joe's got one. He put a little caddis on, and then let's see what he's got. Joe's first fish of the day. Not the biggest thing, but hey. Yeah. Pays the bills. Yeah. All right, let's see, Joe. Nice little brownie. All right. End of the depths. That, that, was that, a, that, that was a Joe fly right there. Yeah, just a bushy old caddis. But sometimes in life, you just got to get a little bushy. Beautiful. We're on a very scenic river right now. It's awesome. Joe got another one. He's on fire. Two for two. Two casts, two fish. See, Joe, they're, they're not getting very big. This is what we would use for bait back home. But, hey. <laughs> You know what they always say, it doesn't matter about the size, matters about the experience. <laughs> Alright, 
back into the depths. How was that? How does number two feel? Good. It's like fish in a barrel, man. Yeah. You gotta say go. Go. Right now? Go. Go. How's it going, everyone? We just got back from the river. We went about, what, hour east of Salt Lake. We're not disclosing the river because we did really, really well. Uh, we caught a bunch of brown trout. We were looking for cuts, didn't get any of those. Joe, what, what were we using? Well, there's a lot of stuff being used out there these days, but we stick to the basics, which included the elk hair caddis, which is a classic Utah staple. Uh, and we also use a lot of hoppers, a lot of big bugs, because, uh, you know, you'd be walking by, you just scare a big old grasshopper, and he jumps in the water and floats down, and that's, that's what the fish are eating these days. I had the most success on little hoppers like that big. Joe, he was throwing one that was a little bigger like that size, but he didn't get any hits, so definitely the smaller bugs were working a lot better. But it, yeah, as soon as I switched to the, the El Caracatus, I was getting smacked. I was probably catching more than Phil was, but... Yeah. What's, what size were you using? Uh, size 14? No. Yeah, size 14. So, so bigger, bigger little, caddis. A little bigger, a yeah. little bigger. But Still worked. Yeah, we had success, a lot of browns, had some fun. It was a little slow in the morning, but it picked up later in the day, surprisingly, which is interesting. We got there pretty early. Yeah, we got there at like 7, like right before the sun came up, so yeah, it was fun. No, no, all right, Phil's got a fish on. Second fish of the day. Nice little brown. You want me to net him? You might have snagged him. Uh, he looks snagged. Him side, him. Yeah. He must have bit it and then it came out and got him on the side. Hmm. Cute little guy. Good little brownie. Alright. There he goes. Alright. Phil's got a nice fish on. He hot it, got him on the hopper. Is it a brown? Oh, he looks like a brown. Nice, dude. Nice. Woo, that's a good brown. That's a beauty. Wow. Nice catch, man. Good looking fish. All right. Good catch. Beauty. Nice. Sweet. That felt good. We got one. Oh yeah, that's a nice brown. Nice. Good catch. Wow. Good size. Beauty. Look at that one. That is sweet. That's a good fish. Wow. Nice catch. Nice catch. You know what they say? Two in the bird is worth one in the bush. Two in the bush is worth five in the hand. All right, ready for the release? Yep. Nice, dude. Good catch. Get rid of that thing. Oh it's my eating the flour. God. How much tip do we should like fry it up? That thing probably tastes amazing. 